Are you afraid of making video because you might make some mistakes? Well, today is your day because I'm gonna share with you the mistakes I made while in my video social media marketing journey as a video producer. So yeah, stay tuned. You might wanna stick around for this one. If we have not had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Diana Castro and I'm a video producer and video marketing trainer. And I am all about supporting thought leaders and mission-driven organizations to amplify their message, amplify their reachability, to magnify their impact and to grow their leads with the power of video. And if this is something that might interest you, hey, subscribe, all right? so. Let's start with this embarrassing video once and for all. Mistake number one. The truth is that I was afraid of not being perfect. What do I mean by that? So I was telling myself this story that because I was a video production company, I was not allowed to have an imperfect whatever that looks like, an imperfect video, meaning that it had to be professional and it had to look like made in a studio because how could I just make video if it didn't look super pro when I was a production company? So trust me, if you're dealing with the perfection issue, if you're dealing with, oh my God, I'm not sure if I'm going to say it perfect, if that is holding you back, give yourself permission to move forward in imperfect action because that's the only way that you're gonna get better at this. It's like trying to ride a bicycle and at the beginning it's not going to look and feel gracious, but it is the more you do it, the better you get at it. So you have permission to not be perfect. Now let's jump into mistake number two. Mistake number two has to do with the fact that in retrospect, I was using YouTube as a show case of my work. I never bother to actually use the platform to create thought leadership, to actually create consistent content that would provide me the ability to position my brand as a leader. And while I was helping other clients to build their own YouTube channels, for example, one of our clients went from 100 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers while using video, I was very hesitant to do it in my own channel. Don't ask me why, I just thought that I was posting my showcase and that was it. I was posting just my work so that people could see how our cinematography was. And boy, was I wrong. Okay, mistake number three. So here I was telling all of my clients, you need to do video so that you can gain more clients. And guess what? I was not taking my own advice. I remember feeling, oh my goodness, I'm struggling in my business. Why is this happening to me? And I was not making any video. I was not taking my own advice. And it took that huge aha moment to awaken me, to create systems so that I could be consistently showing up. My goal was to create one video per week. And the way that I actually solved that problem was that I set up one day to plan out all of my content and then I planned out another day to film all of my content. And then I actually executed on monthly creating one video per week, like executing the distribution of one, week, one video per week. And what ended up happening is that because this gave me so much momentum and it gave me a system, I was able to create something that would serve my clients solving this exact problem. The next mistake is that I did not learn the rules of the game, meaning that I did not learn how to use the search engine optimization features that already existed inside of YouTube. You know, we talk about Google is a search engine optimization platform, but what does that mean? You know, oh, this is how people find you. Okay, perfect, but how does it work? And the truth is that it works with the basis of algorithms and keywords. You have to let the machine know who you are, what do you do, who's your audience, what do you stand, what niche you want to rank in, how do they know how to send you traffic, right? So understanding the rules of the game is going to give you a huge advantage in how you show up and the amount of people that get to view your videos because it doesn't serve you to create all this content and then 
not getting the eyeballs on your video so that you can create the leads that you need so that that content is actually giving you an ROI, return on investment. And another mistake is consistent bipolar. What does that mean, Diana? I know, I know, trust me. Consistent bipolar is posting one day yes, one day no, one day yes, one day no, or posting like three days in a row and then not posting for three months. Yeah, I've done that too. And it doesn't serve you. So create consistency when posting. And there are ways that you can actually leverage this in a smart way. And I can tell you all about it, but why don't we set up a conversation to help you create systems so that you don't have to make the mistakes that I made while in this journey of creating thought leadership in my own space. If you want to know more information, please visit us at fourproductions.com and set up a conversation with me, book a call, and let's talk about how we can support you create consistent video content for your service-driven business. Thank you, until the next one.